My parents? I'm taking away your PS4 and phone away because of your grades. Me being extra depressed and my parents two weeks later realizing the grades have not changed. Why are there so many people that think that it's the video games is going to be the end all things for the solution? Your kid doesn't like eating their vegetables? It's a dang video games. Remember that lovely stretch of any news source? Video games lead to violence? No, video games lead to having an emotional escape when all the world sucks around you. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back in r slash insane parents and if you guys would love to be absolutely amazing show your support and see more videos like this one in the near future be sure to hit that like button leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions and if you have not already subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications or else I'm turning off the Wi-Fi right now Montana Republican implies she'd rather her daughter self off then transition. What do you want to bet that he thought that they were funny when they said that? Because I honestly have a weird feeling that this is the type of person where they would clap at their own joke. Plus also, you know for a fact, this is all just some biblical backup nonsense. Like, oh Jesus, it was the Lord done said on high. The Lord done doth the crayon high, you are a piece. She's here. Look what I did. Welcome, new child. I'm so proud of daughter. She did fantastic. 8 pounds, 12 ounces, 22 inches. Born at 5.55. PM. Jesus Christ, this is like trying to get credit from the group project to a whole new level. I gotta admit, that's a new one. But well, look what I did. I had a kid, and that kid had a kid. I take the credit. Yeah, no. But John's getting upset! Are you on lockdown? Professor is saying please don't leave, but the door to our classroom doesn't lock. Stay put for a while. I emailed my lab TA in case I miss my practical. Hopefully you won't. I would say pray and walk super fast to this place. Stay close to buildings and others. Make yourself less of a target. Maybe you can get tutoring from professors if you stay a little while. Is this a joke? Is my grades more important to you than my life? Yeah, no, it's only a dude walking around with a good old pew pew, you know, just trying to look for peoples in a, a school setting that I, uh, I can't really describe on YouTube. It's got the same vibes as those memes about, are you still gonna make it into work? And they're talking to a person who's in a vegetative state. Taking my toddler to the chiropractor. You better just be having them wait in the waiting room. You mean to, don't, don't you even think for a single second you about to crack them like like a glow stick. Don't tread on me. Honestly, I forgot about this, Logan. They didn't make it illegal to have a deletion. They gave the power back to the states. It just isn't a federal power anymore. Yeah, and by a state-by-state -state basis, some states made it illegal, and some actually punish you for going to a state where it is legal in order to seek help for that. So as per that last part, yes it is, depending on which state you're in. I need your help. My daughter went to stay with her dad for a school year due to some unforeseen circumstances that has turned into a custody battle. Within this custody battle, he took her in for vaccinations 30 days ago against my will and without informing me. One on each arm, one on each leg. Twelve for God only knows what minimum. I have just been informed that she is supposed to go back to even more tomorrow. I have petitioned the court. They won't hear me. Please blow his inbox up with the information. Help me stop him. I am terrified for my daughter. His profile info is in the comments. Pray for my daughter. She is only seven. Oh no! The dad being a good parent. How travesty! Look, you can try to use different words to try to get people to think differently, but we all know the second anybody done seen unforeseen along with the rest of this, we all know the proper word to be using. Unsurprising. You ever wonder if it's possible for your kids to grow up not knowing what technology is? Raise them on a farm in the middle of nowhere? Well, never expose them to any modern tech. Candles and typewriters in the home. Fake the maps so they think there's no world outside the farm. Yeah, and then make them completely question everything by using a camera to take this photo. Well, that's what it's like to drive the Ford F-150. I don't know why. I've just made myself giggle every time I think of the Arctic Monkeys Do I Want to Know song with any weird description and ended with that's what it's like to drive the Ford F-150 because for some reason that formula makes me giggle. I don't allow my son to cry. Say what you will. He might do it, but it's not in front of me and I don't hear it. I've never been a crier, and I'm not crying to bring my son up to cry when times get tough to teach his own. Dude, just straight up saying that guys are not allowed to show emotion. I don't like you. My 13-year-old daughter doesn't know her times tables or the states of Australia, let alone capital cities or what other countries look like on a map. Thank goodness I'm not the only one. My 15-year-old is way behind, and I blame myself completely. 
daily. Huge stress every day. Some things just don't sink in and feel like I'm ruining his life, but I found schoolwork I'm about to. My son is almost 13. I've homeschooled him since he was six. He still does not know the alphabet, months, or even days of the week. He just does not remember. Maybe you need to teach him then. You know, if you're gonna homeschool, you might want to do the school part. Just, th that doesn't mean you can just have him at home. All three of you are just straight up flexing the fact that your kid has had a horrible teacher. Why is it that there are some people out here, like these lovely three individuals here, that think you can homeschool a kid without the schooling part. So, when is the baby due? I saw the vacation pictures of y'all at Disney after Thanksgiving, and that was a baby bump. I wish you were like you used to be, and talk to me like you used to. I'm not pregnant, just fat, I guess. I, I would tell you if I was pregnant. That picture makes you look about six to seven months along. Great! Uh, Thanks for that. I'm not sure you would tell me. You don't even talk to me anymore. Look at the picture. Trust me, she's in the photo. I'm fairly darn certain she would know whether or not she was pregnant. Mother, I am not pregnant. I'm sorry you think that I look pregnant, but I am not. I weigh 140 pounds. I had an IUD in until last month. I'm not pregnant. That's not how skinny you were when y'all came Father's Day. Oh, I love the mini dress. Yes, I gained about 15 pounds due to stress of moving and a new job. Thank you for noticing. The date on the picture is November 29th. The Father's Day is during summer, and you moved over a year ago and got the new job then too. What the f- Are you a lawyer or what? Mom, I just gained 10 to 15 pounds. Husband gained some weight too. I'm not- Pregnant. I'm literally on my period right this exact second. Apparently, you saying that you're not pregnant is not enough. What What do you need to prove it? Like, what the... I don't know. This is so confusing. Because it's like, you would honestly think that you would know whether or not you're seven or six or seven months pregnant. Plus, also, it's kind of a sketchy thing to assume that somebody is pregnant. Like, that, that's something you got to be very, very sure about before you mention it. Because in the likely event that you're wrong, uh, no, nah, you're just calling them fat at that point. Now, I don't got the equipment for half of that, but I know for a fact that if somebody call me fat, I'm not going to feel good. Why you opened my mail? What makes you think I did it? The box was taped back up, LMAO, and you asked. Because I saw what was in it doesn't mean I opened it, and why would I tape it back up? <laughs> you ain't answer the question blank. No, but you just admitted to going through somebody's mail, which is pretty sure that's illegal. Oh yeah, it very much is. If it is gnome, say it's gnome. Mm, never mind. What in the crap was that last bit? Hopefully you haven't blocked my email. Just a note that I'm thinking of you. I wish you were not. We certainly want you in our lives. That is not a mutual feeling. I'm going to take a wild guess because of the playlist. We still think of you every single day. If you really want to cut me and your mother out of your life, tell us to our faces. At very least, a video message. This proves you are who you say you are and haven't had someone take your place. Ah yes, there is an imposter among us. You know, I feel like I don't think you really need for them to say it to your face in order to confirm it. I kind of think if they've been without contact you for a certain period of time, you should just read the room at this point. That's like you see a dead body, you're not entirely sure if it's dead, so you just keep on poking with a stick and asking, Hey dude, are you dead? Hey mom, I have this app on my phone that takes a picture of whoever tries to get into my phone. I was just deleting the images and I saw that you tried to unlock my phone four times on October 20th at 8.33pm. Why? No, because I can. Well, it doesn't look like you actually can because it took your picture four times. You know, four failed attempts, four failed attempts at trying to breach your child's privacy, and most likely they're likely above the age of 18, so that, uh, it don't work, that don't check out. Also, I should probably get that app just in case. It just sounds like a good thing to have on your phone. Welcome to Escabana, Missouri. I, I got that mixed up with that prison from Harry Potter. Happy Mother's Day to mothers who are pro-life. Ah, yes, don't you just love church and all that stuff? stuff. You know, I've also come to realize there is an unfortunate truth in the matter being that people will fight for their life to make sure that a kid is born, but as soon as the kid is born, well, you, you know, screw them. 
Are you eating meat? Yeah, chicken sometimes. Why? Because I wanted to? Uh, yeah, I don't know, <laughs> lol. I think that you need to rethink that decision. It is so unhealthy for your bodies, and it is gross, and it is murder, and you know this. If you want to be so spiritual and such, I don't see how eating a life is a good choice. And you know this. You know how many vegan options there are out there. There is no need for you to eat an animal. Dang it, don't you just don't like it when people don't understand the definition of the word free will? I don't give a damn if whether or not you eat meat or are a vegetarian or any stages of vegetarian such as just fish, just chicken, or absolutely vegan. Uh, that's the thing. I don't care what you eat. So at the same time, you should not care what I eat. Also, last time I checked, there is no equivalent of vegetarian or vegan option for ribs, so I'ma stick to the mutt I've been doing for such a long time. You can try to make a copy all you want, it ain't gonna be the same quality as the original. There have been one or two places that have done Impossible Burgers pretty damn good, but that's one against so many. But with that, that is going to have to be with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the Molsum Internet discussions, and if you guys have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.